So today I'm going to show you how to extract emails from a text. Right, I was working in a company a long time ago and I had to extract emails from one really like, I don't know, 500 pages telephone book. So it took me like, I remember something like five or three days and yeah, we finally did. So let's go back. We open a new project and we say, call it email extraction. And in this email extraction project, we remove the namespace here. Remove this thing here. And these things here. So control A and shift tap. And oh, mistake. we call our project email extractor so we start writing string text and here later we will be some text we will put some text from the internet with some emails so I'll just write a reminder later put text to extract from internet so after this, we write uh, something like this is our text from which we extract all the valid emails and we put some, we put some new lines and then we put a placeholder then we just put the text for the placeholder so once we have done it we made a string that would split the text actually split text that is the name of the string and this is what it does really do does it uses text dot split by spaces so it's really usual that in our text we will have a lot of spaces so we make also a new list string and we'll call it mail list this is how you make a list in this version of C sharp And now we need a function, a private function, which would be called mail collector. This is the name of the function, I just came up with it. And the mail collector would have two things inside. The one would be split text and the second one would be mail list. Okay, so roughly let's use next for the for each function. We write after our writing for each, we press twice tap. So for each string email in our collection, which was named mail list just write uh, the email yep. true story so what is what else should we do yep we should create this mail collector thing private static void oh, I'm writing too fast or static void and we call it mail collector and here we have the string thing which is named split and then we have the list of strings emails so let's see mm -hmm. 
here I kind of missed something I think. So yeah. What do we have there? One for E equaling zero to E less than split length. We add I plus plus. So here we will use a if close and this if close actually will be a regular expression and how do we get the regular expression for a email let's see we write regex it doesn't show up because of one thing in order to have it normal not like this you should go here and you should add one additional library using system dot x dot regular expressions so regex you see it's turned blue immediately so we write regex is match is match split of i now we need the regular expression yeah it's really funny thing to need a regular expression and not to be able to know it. That's why we use Google. We just write regular expression, not knockoff, who is a telerec teacher or trainer. Click regular expression, C sharp, uh, and then email. And we see here, I have already been to this link, obviously. Best regular expression for C sharp, duplicate, stack overflow. It's really so they just say the best thing I have found is this we just trust the guy thank you and we just copy and paste it yep and we just put an asterisk in order to keep everything else and some parentheses and one more parentheses here and let's see what else we just put emails dot add split i and we think that the text is really no we need here our text for the email we just write in google example text mm, and we just need some text with this really good mm, I just see a lot of emails here let's see to be honest I kind of think that this should work oh no not sure let's look whether it would work like this mm, no Probably we should just put everything on one line. So it's a text. Oh, it's, it doesn't work because of this parenthesis here. Uh, so our text is just, we just put this thing. And I think we have already enough emails for our text to test the program. So if everything works correct, we should have this as an output, this as an output, this as an output. And let's put something really stupid here, something like you, you, you. at pfp.bg and put twice this thing, so we should have work. Okay, and something else from our text we should remove all the parentheses just to make sure that otherwise it doesn't work oh well, let's see does it look normal everything brown yes. so the big day came Ta-da! okay and the big question is why doesn't it work
Yep, it does not work because it's really mail collector. We could call this mail collector split text mail list string split list string email. Okay, what is this thing? Mm -hmm. No idea. Let's try again. Wait, this thing also should be removed. I think. Yep, let's try again. Whoop. So many errors. And we have our something wrong in the regular expression. This is what it says system argument exception parsing too many parentheses. Okay. That's kind of bad. Okay. Let's see what we can do with this regular expression. Have a little some other things prepared, but let's see. Regular. Oh, this was the question. So let's try this one. With this regular expression, what is it that we can do? Let's check again. Nope, it doesn't work really fine. Usually, mm -hmm. okay, again what this guy has created and we take a look I mean it's programs don't usually work so fast let's check this regular expression mm -hmm. mm, that's really bugging Much. The whole thing. Mm, a string comma. And nope, it does not work. You see another one a little better. Let's try with this one. It's really funny. No, it doesn't work again. Why? What if we try to do it like this? Yeah. Probably doesn't take it because of this beautiful example that I just took at random, and it's actually not a not a good one. Let's run again and check it. Remove these things. Put a second parenthesis. Think about it once and pray. Yes, we have it. First, second, third, fourth, fifth email. And that's it. Let's even put it a little more beautiful. Um, yeah, 
I have a clue how to make it more beautiful. We can put a new console right, right here and write these are the zero emails found. I'll make a counter. I'm not sure whether it's allowed, but mm. no, I'm not going to do this with the counter. I'll just make it a little easier because it's already a big video. And check it out. These are the emails found. Here. and yeah we have some text and these are the emails found sorry for this I know check these are the emails found and just in order to I shall put a few Lines before the end. If only I could have done it better. And that's it. Five emails. Great. This is how it works. These are the emails found. We put a new line here. Two new lines, in fact. And yeah, that's it. We have taken one not really nice text. At the beginning, it wasn't working because of this parenthesis now it works we have extracted the emails one of them is really interesting for an email but yeah Sanchez domain and also we have tested something else I have put this email it's a fake one VVV at at bfb.bg this at at is a fake one thing just if you want to check I'll just now remove one of the ads and it should appear It should have appeared. But it's not here. And this is strange. Probably yeah, probably our expression only can find dot com things. Or they should be written with small letters. BGB.com. Yeah, this is it. BGB.com to be with small letters, the emails. And if we put .bg, we will find it. Yes, it. So the emails in the text should be with small letters. Or we can use lowercase, dot lowercase, in order to make it with small letters. So this is what we found. And if I had this knowledge like, I don't know, four or five years ago, I would have wouldn't have wasted like, I don't know, two or three days of copying emails from a, yeah, from one file, really. It wasn't the best thing, but yes. I mean, people are learning, that's why I'm also learning. So, thanks for watching.